I'm Daniel Tullian Meldanin, and thank you once again for joining me. My name is Lord Aramil, and today we're doing something a little bit differently, uh, because I promised one of my friends that I would include uh, progress on the catapult and uh, a quick view at my blacksmithing setup as part of today's live stream. Uh, and I did this mainly because I noticed, since I'm playing with my new phone, uh, that it had something where I could, you know, uh, record a video and send it live on my phone, you know, instead of my laptop. Which is good, because, you know, my phone can go further than my laptop. Uh, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I neglected to try it out before now, so right now it's an hour before I would normally live stream. Uh, which is generally a pretty good time for me to be testing out new software and shit, right? Right. Except, according to YouTube, I'm not important enough to uh, live stream on a mobile device. I need to have at least a thousand subscribers, I think. And I think I'm sitting at somewhere like 37 at the moment. So, uh, that's not going to happen for a while. Uh, so instead, I'm going to just pre-record this a little bit. going to walk out back and show off what we've got. And I guess uh, for the Airmail's musings, I'll talk about it a bit, and we'll, uh, we'll see where we're at, yeah? Yeah. So, let's see, can I... Okay. I can't, I don't think I can actually just, uh... Oh, can I just pause it? Alright. So it's not going to, uh work for me nicely. I still have to play around with this and figure it all out. Anyways, so here's the catapult at the moment. Uh, it is still very much in the beta, uh, and I will probably talk about how I want to change it up, how to uh, actually make it work. <laughs> so I'm going to get a nice, hopefully a nice shot of the whole thing. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way for me to uh, turn the camera, like, change which camera facing. Ah. Uh, so, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, well. So, walk across the yard, and here we are with my blacksmithing setup. It is pretty basic at the moment, especially, but we'll go over it. So this is what we set up last night. Uh, it's just a old cast fire. I, I think it's part of an old stove, I would assume. It's got a little, well, what used to be a doorway there. We've got this, which is just part of a drain. So that would go in like that, and our air supply goes in right there got a crucible right here which as you can see was very hot when we took it out oh. so this uh, this is good for melting down pop cans honestly uh, we just had wood like normal wood a small leaf blower and a crucible in there so I'm actually really surprised and happy at how effective that was. I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, it's nice, it's uh, <laughs> impressive. And it's really good that it runs off of mainly just wood because lump charcoal is now out of season. So I am 100% sad about that and more than a little salty. Uh, my other setup here, is literally a hole in the ground. Uh, it's, uh, it was originally about two and a half feet in diameter. You can see that dirt's kind of fallen in around the edges. I've got a uh, mesh grill uh, kind of keeping the worst of the dirt out. And there is a pipe that goes from here all the way down and into the bottom to provide airflow. Uh, and that is actually very effective 
shockingly effective even. Uh, and you can you can get steel to uh, a working temperature with that. So it's actually really easy to set up a actually very safe forge. You just need a hole in the ground. Uh, you pile up dirt all around it, and yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty nice. Well, I'll show off really quickly. Uh, I'll probably do this at uh, during the live stream also. But what we kind of made, uh, unfortunately, this one. Uh, this pouring was a little rushed. I kind of wanted to just try and get a uh, ingot out of it. Uh, because I kind of messed up the first pouring. Which was great, by the way. I was really happy with how it was turning out. Uh, and then I accidentally dropped the crucible. Ah. Uh, because I didn't have a good grip with it, because I'm using old tongs and a new crucible. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, a very worrying, like, moment. Uh, so this is what happens when you drop your crucible, and it's full of, I think this is 20 aluminum cans worth. So, it's really interesting. Uh, it kind of looks like, uh, I'm holding a piece of lava. Just neat. Uh, yeah. So I'll probably take these in, and I will uh, talk about them more during the live stream. But I wanted to get this recorded already. Uh, I don't think there's any way for me to just stitch this into the live stream, so I'll just upload it uh, probably as soon as I get inside. And then, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I will talk to you all in about an hour. All right. So, see you then.